How you doing? It's me. Um, I wanted to do a 9-11 remembrance, answer, answer some questions you guys have sent me, and also to thank you for the beautiful birthday wishes, cards, gifts. I haven't gotten to Angel Heart yet. I will next Tuesday to pick them up, but um, thank you. Uh, I am not deserving, <laughs> but thank you so much. And look, I even got flowers from Lulu and and uh, Jack and my friend Mark Rhodes sent me those. Very kind, you guys. Actually, it was my cousin that sent me the flowers of Lulu and Jack, my cousin uh, Regina. Okay. So, I want to tell you guys a quick story. And forgive me if some of you have already heard of this. Sorry. Have already heard this story. One day I was reading this woman sitting at Angel Heart. And so we're nearing the end of the reading. And all of a sudden I saw this young man come out of the wall behind her in a blue suit and a red tie. No, he wasn't, this is before Trump. And I looked at him and he said, I'm her cousin. So I looked at her and I said, your cousin's here. And she looked at me very perplexed and said, cousin. And I thought, I looked at him and I said, you're going to have to give me more than that. And he turned to the side and he showed me the Twin Towers falling. And uh, I guess the look on my face, she said, what? I said, according to him, he died in the Twin Towers. And she said, oh, that's my cousin's son. Well, it's still her cousin. So um, that was an interesting story. It's the only 9-11 person that has ever reached me. Um but I can still see his face, black curly hair, big smile. And so he told me to tell her that she needed to stop mourning so hard and that he was perfectly okay. And he was a newlywed when he died. And he knew that his wife at the time, the widow, had remarried and had two children. He was very happy for her. She'd gone on with her life. So I guess this woman got a hold of her cousin in Manhattan and then got back to me and said, oh my God, Linda. <laughs> she said, first of all, the mother was just overwhelmed. And yes, the ex-wife had gotten married and had two kids. Part of the reason she was in so much sorrow, it could have been him. Do you know what I'm saying? But he was alive and well on the other side. And he's my only 9-11 that's ever come through. I haven't even had people ask me about a relative that died in 9-11. I mean, I know Teresa Caputo was talking about 9-11, but she lived in Jersey, so she had a lot of those. For some reason, it hasn't. I haven't had a lot of them. But um, it's weird because Orange Crush is there, you know, laying the wreath. And it, it's just, it's you can't watch it, number one. And number two, it, it's just heartbreaking to know that this person who called people who were killed in action losers and suckers. It's just, you know, that's totally true. So um, anyway, I just wanted to touch bases. I want to give a shout out to my friend Gina. I mean, Ginger. Gina. She made this. Isn't that cute? She made this. You can, you can uh, uh, put little notes in here. I can I can put this in my purse. That's so cute. And um, this a little it's in the stars. It's in the stars. She she made this, and you can add things. It's very cute. I like this part. So I just it's so touching. You guys go through all the trouble. So anyway, okay. What else did I want to tell you about the fires? Now you know my power's down for several days. And uh, it was four Diablo winds that never showed. But it doesn't mean it, they were being cautious. I'm not being mad. They were being cautious. 
but uh, there wasn't even a breeze. <laughs> and it kind of, it's upsetting because you got to sit like and wait. And it's like, okay, when are you going to, because it's very inconvenient. I have gas generators, but you know, I could keep a freezer going. I keep fans going. But once you lose the power, uh, whatever, I have Comcast, it disconnects and because I had gotten these generators and plugged in all the stuff from Comcast and I co still couldn't get Wi-Fi or the TV. And they said, well, when the power goes out, so does the, uh, so it doesn't matter what you do. Anyway, if anybody knows of how you can get, I had a doctor friend of mine. In fact, we all went to Disneyland together. He had this little, but this was like in the late 80s. He had a little compact thing that he could do to, uh, it was before, or no, it was after my first son was born. So it was the early 90s. This little thing you could set up for your Wi-Fi. Oh, and he was on an airplane. Okay, so. Now, I told you the story about the man in the blue suit with 9-11. The fires are more towards the north. It is Armageddon, you guys. So let me look to see, because while I was looking at this, and I believe I said this in another video, there would be fires like Oregon, Washington, California. Remember, I saw that. And I felt, you know, tough, tough ones. But also, my guides, when I'm looking at it, I'm just feeling so sad because I've been, you know, evacuated. So I don't know how many times. And you, that, if you go out and the ash is all over your car. They said in the fire because it comes rebirth. So, which is true. It's just that we've sort of populated everything. And so these type of fires happened a long time ago. Um... But it's a it's a rebirth. It's a cleansing. Tell me more about the fires. Is there anything else you want to tell me? The good news is the weather is not hot, humid. It's like 60 degrees outside right now. A little bit of a mist from the fog. The highest it's going to get today, I think, is 70 some. So, and there may be rain coming next week. Tell me about the fires. Is it still going to be bad or are we getting a break? Tell me about the fires. Tell me about the fires. Okay, here we go. All right. People helping people. A lot of money being burned up. The sun says, yes, it's, it's going to work out okay, but a lot of people are going to be stuck without a home, without a plate. I see, the thing is, is while Trump's in office, there's not that much help coming. So, um, they're saying even, you know, be, caught, be, be patient that the light is coming, that they're going to help. There will be more fires, but not as bad in California, I just heard. more towards Southern California. Some people start them deliberately. Um, I don't know, but I see them getting the Northern Californias and then Big Bear, which is about eight hours from me. They had Armageddon's. It's, it's so scary. You know, my father was a fireman and he used to teach us about rolling, about checking the door, what you do during, how you lift people. He was always, because he saw a lot of people die in their homes. I know, do you guys remember when that pipeline broke up in, uh, <coughs> sorry, that pipeline exploded, exploded, was it Burlingame or it's near San Jose, I think, San Carlos or something. And it was a faulty pipeline. pg and &E had to pay a lot of money. But it was like, it happened, boom. And I remember this guy, because it broke, you know, I hate when animals get killed. And he said his dog got so scared it went under the bed and he couldn't get the dog. He could feel the heat coming through the walls and he had to run out and then the house just exploded in fire. And um, my doctor for the last fire that when I first moved here that happened, as soon as I got here, we started fires. <laughs> uh, 
uh, <clears throat> he said he didn't even have time to turn around and grab his wallet. He was in his pajama bottoms and he ran out. And his house was gone, baby, gone. So, and then it's also a couple of miles away from Paradise, which my high school mate, she, they rebought an organ and of course fires are up there. You know, she's already traumatized by all this bad news. And then for it to start again in Oregon and Paradise might get hit again. But the thing is, there's no winds, you guys. You know, when the thing happened out here in 20, it was it was a month after uh, Tom Petty died. So I think it was 2017. Um, I get a flag that says you better you better evacuate. And I'm thinking, what? And it's and I sent it to my son. I said, what do you think about this? And he walks outside. I could hear him. Oh, that's how lazy I was. He walks out to the street. He comes back in. He said, Mom, you better look at this. And I went out and it was Armageddon. Flames on the hill to my left. Um, huge chunks of ash, burning ash. Uh, we put the sprinkler on the roof and then the power went out. And it was 70 mile an hour gust. That's what happened. The wind was so bad, it just took over. So, yeah, it was tough. Okay, but we were okay. The damage I received was last year when that tree went through my garage roof. You guys remember that. And, um, oh, I want to tell you, you know, um, I sent my application to the bach bachelorette, and um, they wrote me back. They, they questioned my age. <laughs> But they said, you know, Linda, we really need a picture of you in a bikini. You sent us a picture of your uh, pet hound dog, but we need a picture of you in a bikini. And I said, that pet hound dog is me in a bikini. What the hell? What's... Anyway, you know they want me, but I might have second thoughts. Okay, so. Okay, so listen. Munchkin and uh, the other guy, I can't remember, the other guy that was from uh, uh, CNBC, they have poured a trillion dollars into the stock market today, a trillion corporate bonds, and it went up just briefly, and then it's going back down, which tells me it's like this. It's like the stock market is being flooded with their, with America's money putting us more in debt but also people are leaving so it's like they're trying to shore it up falsely but it's not working out for them so last I looked I think it, it got up to 250 and it was down to 100 so I just want to ask tell me about the stock market because I kept seeing decreases so this is September remember it was September and I'm, I'm seeing it go down and go down. See, he needs that. Orange Crush needs that in order to stay. That's the one thing he's got going for him. Tell me about these corporate bonds in the stock market. Is it helping it or are we in trouble? No, it's not helping it. Let's take a look, see. No. No, 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 no. And the people within the stock market, the smart money people know it's a, it's a fake boost. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. The angel of light and mercy is trying to protect us. I mean, just now they were talking about Colorado and people are losing their, their homes. People don't have any jobs. It's happening, you guys. And we'll look because, of course, McConnell, they, they, it was a nothing burger. They weren't going to give uh, us nobody's anything while they live fat, have their fat vacations and their good health care. Um, yeah, there's disappointment, but I'm going to tell you something. I've always told you when Biden comes in, he's going to immediately cut uh, that tax break. And he's going to start using that money to help pay off the debt as well as take care of issues for America. Make sure you get, people get a better pay, that kind of stuff. Um, now, 
Okay, so we have uh, Bob Woodward, and he's got all the stuff that uh, that Trump said about COVID. Now he's calling. He's saying, "Well, if Woodward knew it, if it was that important, he should have said." I mean, he spins, spins, spins. You're not going to get rid of his, his the people that love him. You just you just can't. They love them and they're going to stay there. And they're all Christians. So they were interviewing some guy and they said, but the president said it was a bad virus. So why aren't you wearing a mask? Because I've got God and God looking at, well, you know, you, there's certain things God, I mean, there's a protection from God, but you can't walk around with no birth control and think you're not going to get pregnant. You can't know there's a disease out there and not take care of yourself. So tell me, did this affect Trump, what he did? And I have something else to tell you guys, hold on. Hold on. Did this affect Trump? Did this affect Trump? This information, more information is coming out. I just heard it. More information. And then there's a, a whistleblower that's uh, saying that um, he was trying to tell everybody Russia's interfering and they weren't listening. Okay. So he got demoted. So Trump lied about COVID. What can you tell me? Did this hurt him at all? Somebody's saying yes. Yes, he's trying to battle the real news, the truth. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, Bullwinkle, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Again? <laughs> Here he is. Here's, you know who, Orange Crush Face. Um, His people are still going to hang towards him, but yes. The military thing is what's really affecting him more so than anything. It's not just the COVID. It's what he said about losers. Um, it's caused a weird taste in their mouth. It's almost like I could feel like this exit stage left. And the fact that he told Bob Woodard about nuclear stuff, I mean, just spilled the beans to a reporter and then, you know, of course he's talking to Putin. So he does not, he is not loyal to the United States of America. He is not loyal. And this means be cautious, be careful. Um, more stuff's coming out. More stuff's coming out. Now, I've often felt money things. Now, so far, it seems like we keep getting put on hold about his taxes. But I'm also wondering is the money things because the stock market starts going down and he acts, if he doesn't have a good stock market, which is why he's desperate and putting trillions in, but if it still keeps falling, it's gonna affect him. Because the rich who could care less what happens to us poorly people, they're like, as long as I'm making money, I'm happy. So, yep. Did it affect him? Absolutely, yes. He's trying to be calmer. I don't know why I'm telling you this. He's trying to be calmer. I, I couldn't watch the 9-11 things because he's there. But he's trying to be more, you know, careful about what he says. Because you know how ugly he got after. Well, now my tower is the biggest tower in New York. And he talked about all the... All the um, People celebrating the tower crash. All these lies. He lies while he breathes. And they don't care. Okay. So. I wanted to tell you guys that I started with the states. And with the Senate. With my look. And check this out. The other night I had the list. And I'm going through. And I literally had two pendulums snap in half. While I'm doing the work. Never in my life as using pendulums has any pendulum snapped in half. I have no idea what happened. It just snap. In fact, I'm going to have to buy some more when I get to Angel Heart. 
So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that because that was weird. Okay, so a lot of you guys want to know, will Trump resign? Make Now, I always saw Pence as the one who does the changing of the guards. You remember that. I've been saying that for a while. But I felt Trump leaving like, screw you guys. I don't need you guys. He's throwing a pissy fit. But does he actually hand over the reins and have Pence pardon him? I just heard no. I mean, I could see it happening for sure. So funny. They say about how he'll cheat and he won't leave. And they give detailed information about how he could do it. Why would you do that? Why would you give detailed information about how someone can cheat and not give up their, their position so he can take notes? Okay, tell me about Trump resigning and his pardoning him. He won't be there for the changing of the guards. That I can tell you. Trump will be so sick when and when he loses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The tower. Things are going to get shook up. Justice is coming, you guys. Justice is coming. The truth will be before you. Here's Biden. So that's interesting. Um Maybe even Biden announces, don't worry, we're going to do a complete inf investigation on these things because more stuff is coming out. It's almost like the, the Democrats are going, told you, told you. More stuff is coming out. So Biden is on top of it. But Biden wouldn't. Um... No, because justice is there. No, nope. he may just take off because he wants to escape. I don't see him giving Pence being president. I could be wrong, but I see him. I see an explosion. I see all these things happening and maybe even people say, tell Pence, the other Republicans, no, don't do it. Don't do it. We're already going downhill. Don't do that. Just let him take off. And then you as VP help with the changing of the guards. People are struggling. So listen, let's look real quick about the stimulus package. I saw September. People got to have something. You know, you'll even get pissed off at the Democrats if you don't get something. Tell me about the... Because people are mad at the Dems and the Republicans. But, you know, we did the HEROES Act and, and it just it sits on his desk. He don't care. Someone just said to me, it'll affect his ability to win again. So they've done a disservice to themselves. Interesting. Okay. And I'm going to tell you guys something else I had a flash on when the power was out. I saw the information coming up of what they had on Lindsey Graham and others. Russia was part of that. Russia came up with some stuff. I don't know if they gave them money. Even that guy Kennedy, you know, who acts like, well, I haven't really watched it yet. So I don't. The Republicans are letting Trump do all this cray cray. And they're just going to stand down because they're under the gun. They're not doing it because they like him. They're doing it because it's it's a matter of their survival. Um, yeah, people will be screaming. What are you doing? We need help. Um, they held off. They're holding off. Here it is. It's coming. It, it's coming, you guys. It could be seven days, the 27th, the 17th, 27th. Um, and we got the Ten of Cups in the house. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, it's going to be cool. But Russia has got a lot to do. They don't want them to come out with another program for us. They want chaos. They know people will struggle. You know, people struggle in Russia too. Okay. Now, 
Bar decided that he's going to take over on this thing this woman had done on, um, what is it called? Well, she, she had, he said something negative about her. And the judge said, we, we can get a DNA sample. And um, Bar wants to go in, but I'm almost feeling like he goes in and they push him back. But let's double check it. Will Bar be able to put this on hold? Will Bar be able to put this on hold? It's still going to come to snap. It's still going to get him, but it might not be right away. Let's look. Look, Bar, here's a battling. Here's the truth wanting to be told. I think she's going to be successful. So she's got a great attorney and they might take this to a higher court, but there's a judgment in her favor. She's going to win. It's just a matter of when. So I don't want you to worry about that. God, it's just so obvious. I'm so happy when he goes. Okay, so we did the uh, bar. Now I want to know... Um, Somebody wrote and said, Maria Kosnikova, Maria Kosnikova, um, the opposition leader that's been taken by the KGB, will she ever get out? And will Lashenko be brought down? Maria. Maria. She's in prison. She's not being treated very well. People are looking after her or people are, people are around. People are checking in on this. If she, she, she might have been, you know, Harry carried if she got, got taken in with, uh, in Belarus. Maria, how are you going to do, sweetheart? She's just... See, and it'd be nice if we had a president that said, we demand you, but he's sitting right on top of it. Trump is not going to say a word. The angel light is mercy is standing with her. Her fortunes will change, so she just got to put up with this. I don't see death. I don't see death. But I do see her getting out. And I see this being in jail thing is making her sick, like physically ill. But she's not dying. She'll need some medical help when she gets out. So they must be really treating her badly. She'll serve at least eight. So I don't know how long she's been in there. Or get out in the eight. So it might not be till next August. I hope not. Okay, so now let's look about. Let's look at uh, uh, the guy that they're marching big time, saying that this was a rigged election. He's desperately trying to hold on, and he's having like KGB type things, like having people arrested behind closed doors, She's trying to shut people up. Because these people were messing with the children. That the children were going out at first, and they were messing with them. And then the parents came out. You know, Japan did that when they were um, when they said that America was coming to take over their towns, and and you know, they taught everybody, even children, to give their life up for the emperor. And so they were all like ready to fight us. They would do anything to destroy America. And then those bombs hit. And at that, the first bomb hit and they said, hey, so to the emperor, what do you think? You can see what we can do. He said, nah, I pass. So they hit another house, another place. <laughs> and then he realized, cause see the people were so hurt and they loved them so much. And then when the second bomb happened, that's when people thought, I don't know if I want to be with this emperor. I don't think I want to be with this emperor. People actually started to feel disconnected from him. So,
He has to be careful, this guy. They're watching him. I don't think until Biden gets in, we're going to have some, some help. They're going to get, somebody might come in and say, you know, dude, you can't be like this. He's going to sneak away in the night, you guys. There's battles going on. There's judgments being made. So these people will not take this lying down. And I, I don't know what the economy is like, but it feels like they're struggling. That's what's happening in the United States right now. People are struggling, so they're not going to put up with much. You know, what do I got to lose? I got nothing. So, um, yeah, a judgment is here, uh, him escaping in the night, him taking off to smoother waters or so he thinks. So he's trying to hold on as tight as he can, but don't worry, do not worry because this too shall pass. And so he will be gone and people will be dancing in the streets, but it's not right away. But it, you know, I, I feel like, uh, Biden will be in office. So um, I did tell you that I'm doing the states and stuff and I had two pendulums that broke. Okay. Um, tell us about the detained children. What's gonna, they're gonna have committees that come in. I see them even talking, the committees with subcommittees and they're trying to find each child and where the child went. In fact, these poor families that are looking for their children, they almost know there's nothing they can do now. They have to wait for the new president. Well, tell me about the children. They're not gonna find all of them, you guys. There was actual, it's just very sad. That's another one of the first things that uh, Biden does when he gets in office. Yep, he re reunites. He reunites to the mothers and the fathers. Yep, absolutely guaranteed. Um, they struggled. These kids struggled. It, it kind of, uh, uh, post-traumatic stress, it's like they, I think a lot of them were given to other families. They sit in longing for their family. And there'll be a woman overseeing this. The, it could be Biden picks a female. And truth will be told, you guys. People will pay for this. But they will go out and find the children and reconnect them. And I even see the people who are missing children talking to the government. Dang. Okay, so that's what I have today. Before I leave... Let's ask two questions before I leave. One, does my guides have anything else to say? And then, you know, I'll be back on Sunday with Sterling. Do my guides have anything else to tell everybody? What do you want to tell everybody? Hey, listen. Wasn't that funny about Pelosi? And he's, they're talking about her going in there. You know, it's like. Is that all you got? That's it? That's all you got? Oh, everybody's in an uproar. But if a Democratic president had told everybody this is a nothing burger with the COVID and then told an author and had it verbally there that he knew this was a bad virus and he said nothing, what do you think those Republicans would have done to a Democratic president? But yet he still sits there in office. Okay, so listen, I'm going to do another throw, but I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what anybody says. Biden's going to win. I mean, there may be some turmoil about it, but Biden's going to win. They're just telling me to tell you guys to be patient. Just wait wait for it. Still some struggle, but some good news too, you guys. Some good news. Um, where we're going, yes, I think Woodward has some more tapes. I think more stuff. I know that, that FBI, that Rachel Maddow had him on. He's got, he, I'm telling you, people with brains will understand this. The other ones that love him and they don't care, you know, whatever. So let's just look real quick because I have to look. And I probably should do it every time I do a reading. And I know they get tired of me asking all the time. People are worried about voting. 
Yes, they're trying. And there will be cheating and attempted cheating. And don't forget, they're going to find out how Trump got in and was never really the president, so he'll be removed. Who wins and what happens? Can you tell me who wins? The president of the United States. I see, it's like a tennis. I see tennis. So it's like somebody tries to throw something and boom. Somebody tries, boom. So it's like they're watching it like a, like a hawk and there's people with money in the on the Democratic side. Um, and they're not trying to cheat Trump. They're just trying to make sure that, that the voting is correct. So tell me who will win. Who will win? The United States. Celebrating. Now, you know we won't be celebrating if it's him. It's, it's quite the struggle, but the truth is before us. Um, I think we're going to know that we won. Ooh. I think we're going to know that we won, but I do think he's going to try to throw it at a judge. I don't know what part he's going to throw at. But the outcome is, is, is given to Biden through justice. But it's like it, we're going to be all, yay, and then he's going to try to come up with something. Biden's still going to win, though, because this justice person hands up hands us the ace of coins. So, yes. You know, so funny, he said, you know. I didn't tell everybody about COVID because I didn't want people to worry. But in the meantime, he said, if you don't vote for me, these foreigners are going to come up and rape your wives. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. It's just too much. It's it's. He, it's obvious who he is. And Lord, why was he placed upon us to open our eyes? Okay, thank you. And it also will cleanse, cleanse us. It's almost like I see a fire in the White House, not literally. But it's like the cleansing. The cleansing will take place. And this is going to change us and make sure that we, we're careful. And things will be more fair. Gerrymandering will be taken out. The Dems did it too, you guys. Gerrymandering, and I do see the, um, by the next election in four years, very well could get rid of the um, electoral. People are ready to move forward. People just want to take care of this earth. They want to take care of others. People are changing, you guys. It's wonderful. Wonderful to see. I'll talk to you all later.